Hey everyone, good afternoon. Welcome back to Let's Play Dangerous Waters Red Storm Rising. We are back at uh whatever this mission is called, Race of the Cripples here. And we are being pursued by Russians in all shapes and sizes and forms. We got some surface ships that have just started pinging up to the south here. And then uh I went up to for an ESM check earlier. I guess I can turn my history on. Went up for an ESM check earlier, didn't see anything. So that's interesting. Seems like no one was transmitting yet at that time. But, uh, I'm sure they probably are now. It was not like I did it right at the beginning either. It was kind of like later on, and I still didn't see them transmitting, so that's odd. Yeah, I'm heading a little, uh, a little more easterly now, a little southeasterly, trying to firm up the solutions on these guys. They seem pretty distant based on the, uh, intersection of the toad and active tracks here. They appear to be about, eh, more than, more than 10 nautical miles away, maybe 15 nautical miles or something like that. So we're going to continue on this bearing for a little bit here, and then we are going to... I, I might try and employ a little bit of sprint and drift in this mission. I may try to do some sprint and drift just to really... Just to get ahead of this guy, and sprinting probably maybe just 15 knots. I don't think I'm going to get much faster than that. Maybe full for a little bit, and then come out of it, but full, I don't know, probably 15 knots. I might. We'll see. I'm trying to get these guys off to the south of my... Is that him right there? Looks like a line. Now, I'm trying to get them on my broadband so I can get TPK data on them. Or not TPK, but demon data, but that's not working, so that's why I'm continuing on this on this way for a little bit here. Try and get some uh some data. Try and narrow down the solution, make it only fit one possible solution here. But we'll see if that really if that effort comes to fruition. I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna continue on this bearing. Let's go a little shallower here. Getting a little close to the bottom. Make my depth two eight. Let's see, let's get a little more data over here. All right, let's see what this what this does for us here. There's a little bit of data. Let us see. Yeah, that's just the uh, the buffalo right there, deviating a little bit. We should probably return to our previous course soon here. I might take take another peek at the surface there. All right, so range. What was I thinking? I was thinking about you know maybe twelve, fifteen nautical miles. So that's gonna be around. Around here, I guess, around this distance. Speed. I don't know. Let's try around here, seven knots maybe. Go for the same speed we are, see what happens with that. Oh, uh, let me, okay, the, the course is plugged for whatever reason. I want to plug the speed. There you go. Let's see what we got. Eh. It's not really looking like much of anything right there. I mean, they could have some course changes potentially. And this does kind of work. Yeah, who knows? Uh, which one was that? CR3 we can merge that with CR6. The active source there. Merge. Eh, it does seem to support the data. They could be faster, they could be more distant, who knows? Just a rough solution right now. Let's merge these guys up. I mean, based on that, ooh, that's looking like it's actually a little further off than I originally thought. CR5 and CR4. Let's see here. CR5, CR4. Merge. Yeah, I mean, if you keep it at 10 knots, well, that, if that's heading right for me, then yeah, but I don't think it's heading exactly right for me, but who knows, maybe. That's another potential solution right there. It's a little more direct course and further off than 10 knots. So yeah, let's uh, return to previous course here, and uh, let's go to the surface and check that out. Come left to I'm going to go down to 5 Zero. knots. Oh, well, no, stay at 7 knots for the time being. Make turns for seven knots. I'm going to try and keep this toad from hitting the bottom a little bit. Let's go to periscope depth. Go Make to PD, shift two. two. I don't really six, have those hotkeys memorized. So that's not too big a problem. You know, let's just do some time warp and get up to the surface here. Yeah, all I've been getting so far is those pings from the south. No whiffs seven of anyone else yet, zero, really. Five, seven. So that's interesting. Oh, yeah, slow down, please. We'll do four knots. Make turns for four knots. Maneuvering out. Right, let's raise this some bitch. I'm gonna see if anything's on radio. I doubt it. I think I checked this out last time. There wasn't anything, but it's worth a shot. Oh, I think I'm recording at the wrong FPS here. That's fine. It shouldn't matter too much. Oh, here we go. Finally, some active sources. I don't know if I, if I should say finally for an active source or an ESM source rather. I guess it is active in terms of radar. What are we getting? Just one May off to the southwest. That's all we're getting. Fine by me. Maybe they haven't found us yet. Uh, okay, here, I'm gonna 
get this recording back on 30 FPS. I'll see you back in a second. Alright, we're back here, back on 30 FPS, I believe. I think I just said to 30. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. Alright, yeah, just once again making sure my pop, my microphone is not popping. I'm watching the output of it right now. It seems pretty good. Okay, that's good. Oh, hey, I hear you. Hello, hello, hello. There's another May off to the west, and a bear off to the northeast. Okay. Uh, what's the bearing doing on these bears here? I'm not too sure. Not too sure. This guy changing in any significant manner? Uh, a little bit. Probably, this seems pretty distant, the rate of bearing. I was about 5 degrees in about a few seconds. Not too close. Maybe we can see if we can try and pick him up on the scope real quickly. Nothing on radio. Are we looking 8-7? Let's go and take a peek. I doubt I'm even going to be able to see anything over the C state. Uh, yeah, I'm not really seeing anything. It's probably pretty distant off there. All right, let's get a little deeper here and let's get a little back more northerly again. Let's go seven knots. Let's go two, six, seven feet is fine. Make my depth two. You know, what, let's go all head standard here for a bit. I'm just gonna try and get back into position really quickly here. Oh well, hang on here. Go two thirds. I don't want to start cavitating here on the surface. Recommend lowering all uh, can I not lower all mass antennas? Lower the ESM mass. Now this damn... I always like click this thing and get away from this scent, this this uh, station too quickly and it never like takes the order in. It's kind of annoying. Alright, let's get down there. Let's try and get back into formation here and then maybe gain up some ground a little bit here. Yep, pings to the south still. Pings to the south. Anything else on the toad yet? No, not seeing anything yet. Well, I guess I should take a narrowband sweep. I haven't done one of those in a while. And we've got our buffalo right there. And, uh, whatever these guys are off to the south. It's a 51.25, so. Probably Ruski. Oh, is that something different right there? No, it's all the same stuff. Yeah, these are the only tracks I hold right now, are these three guys. And they're reciprocals. Okay, we're almost back to previous track here. Uh, I don't remember when I got sunk in the last session. Oh, yeah, you guys are probably wondering. I for so I thought I put an annotation, like, in the video editor, so, like, Adblock wouldn't block it, because that's I like doing it that way, if preferable. And uh, it seems like it didn't stay in for whatever reason. I ended up getting sunk by a depth charge. It, it wasn't just a glitch. I mean, the death was glitchy, but the reason I died wasn't glitchy. I got sunk by a depth charge. The May dropped a depth charge on me. I guess he got a little pissed off when I shot down his Helix compatriot there. So, uh, yeah. Not sure if I'm, to, if I'm gonna have to do any of that stuff. I guess I don't really have to be right here exactly. Let's just go back to 057. 57. Five, right course. I'm gonna try to, like, stay at this speed for a little bit. Just try and get a little ground. Get a little further up there. In front of the buffalo. <coughs> mm. Let's see. But, yeah. Right now I'm just in the middle of summer doing nothing, waiting for interviews and jobs. I got one interview set up, but uh, right now I'm just kind of focusing on my channel. It's kind of keeping me sane. I'm probably going to record a lot of tutorials this week because I have nothing else to do. <laughs> and I'm probably just going to start really churning those bad boys out. Um, there's no point in just putting one out a, a, a day. It's just going to take forever to put them out, so I'm just going to start churning those out a lot. Uh, yeah, this upcoming Sunday, look for the conclusion on that cumulative tutorial. Tutorial. The mission was actually longer, but I decided to cut a bit of it out. It got a little sloppy. And then I'm going to start doing, like, uh, tutorials and other subs, just to highlight the differences. That's all I'm really going to do, basically. And then I'm going to move on to the parry and the, the helo and the P3. All right, this is good. This is good. Let's uh, slow down to three knots here. Let's bring in some of this toad. Right, let's see if we can be a little stealthy here. Let's see if we can pick up anyone to the north. Let's see if there's anyone else to be picked up around here. Yep, there's someone right there picking up to the north. Consonant. And then we got a reciprocal Contact. over Bearing here. Three, five, six. Designated Sierra seven. Con sonar. I have a new contact. Bearing one. Okay, very well. Seven. Some Sierra contact eight. off to the north here. Yeah, bring a little bit of toad. I don't want it to drag since I'm going a little slow now. Uh, let's see, how far do I want to bring this bad boy in? Uh, probably a few more seconds here. Let's see what that gets us. We 
are pretty close to the bottom, but we have to get pretty deep to stay away from that surface clutter, man. Because this is a hell hellish sea state. It's at least sea state 7. It looks even more like sea state. Well, it is pretty. Sea state 7 is pretty big. That's like a 14 and a half meter wave height. And that's not like the height of a wave above the free surface. That's from trough to peak, so like amplitude. Still pretty big, though. <laughs> 45 feet. It's huge. Let's see. Yeah, I got that guy off to the north. Anyone else around here? Right, who's that? Con, sonar. I have a new contact. Barry, oh, that reciprocal be like over here this way. Interesting. Sierra, <clears throat> yeah, be over here like this way. Yeah, right there. Who's this guy? Con, sonar. I have a new contact. Bearing three, one, four. Interesting. Sierra, Interesting. One, zero. Now, which way would make more sense for them to be coming from the Via Zemlia? Or more this way? I don't know. We're going to have to do a turn at some point. We will have to do a turn. And thankfully, I just classified all these guys so we got trackers on them. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do that turn right now. I might go back up to 5 knots to try and expedite this a little bit. Make turns for five knots. Let's turn. I guess let's turn this way. Come right to course. One, zero, oh, let's speed six. up time a little bit oh, here. My. Oh, is that thunder? Crap, I shouldn't be recording in a thunderstorm. <laughs> Dip is no good. That's a good way to... Well, this isn't recording to my main hard drive. This is recording to my other hard drive, so... The data buggers off. Okay, here we go. Falsy here, falsy here. Let's return to previous course. 057. Very well. Track to the north and new track to the south. Interesting. Well, let's go check up on these old dudes down here. I don't think I've had trackers on them for a while, so who knows what's up with them. Yeah, I mean, that solution still kind of... I just, I just don't know their speed. The solution still kind of works. I'm not too sure of their speed down there. That is interesting. Interesting indeed that we have another track off to the south. South, southeast here. Let's see. Do I have those guys off to the... These guys are pretty far away, man. I don't know what their dealio with the filio is. What they're doing, what they're up to, who knows. Yeah, let's just uh, do a little time warp here until we get back to our current course. I'll let the toad straighten out. I'm going to slow back down to three knots for a little bit. Steady on course zero, See five, if I can seven. hear anything else around at three knots. Toad is straightening out. And it's just almost straight there. Very well. This is not very compelling commentary, yes. Uh, am I seeing Make something? No. Oh, let's see. People off to the north. Wasn't this one of these people off to the north, like, pinging me last time? Oh, was that something else right there, too? What the hell? Or was that right here? Is this a reciprocal that I figured out was a reciprocal? Or something? Zero. No. Designated Sierra one. That's another one. track altogether right there. No, oh, they're all just popping up now all of a sudden. Sonar. I have a new contact. Bearing. Zero. Oh boy. <laughs> they're all fishing boats. Well, I don't expect any Americans around here. They all made it to the ice pack. I'm back here trying to protect the buffalo. <laughs> you had that running with Buffalo Bill. Dude, nothing happened, man. Let's see. Should I go back to the service and take a peek? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Five knots. Expedite our dive, and let's get Make up there. For five knots, Make my depth zero six. And this test gonna hit the bottom Make for a little bottom. bit because we do the the ballast up. Right, so, ooh. Oh, there's Bearing. that ping from the Three, north five, from this guy. Okay. One, Whoa! What the hell just happened? Oh, my toad's being crazy. That's what's happening. Pay that no mind then. My toe's just being silly. Let's raise this bad boy back up here. See what we got. What the have we here? Oh, this mission's still gonna take forever. <laughs> I feel like I have to like shoot down all these planes, otherwise they're just gonna take me out. What have we? There's the bear, and there's a May. And there's a new ESM track, and there's another May. Oh, this May's changing bearing rather quickly. And this might be our friend Mr. Helix off this way. Whoa, whoa, he's close. He is close. 
I wonder if I should just like surface completely now. I feel like there's some surface ship up there that could detect me. Loose some missiles my way. Where are you at, Mr. He I think I just saw him for a second. Here, get me a little shallower. Make my depth zero. I think I just saw him. Where is he? Oh, that's a May. Oh, there's the helix. Oh god, that's really changing bearing pretty quickly. Oh, Mr. Water. Why do you have to be so rough right now? Hello, where is this helix? I'm not seeing crap. Oh, there it is. Off to the north edge more. Where, 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 where? Where are you? I don't see you. Damn it, this water is so freaking annoying. Ugh. There it is. Oh, he's flying over me. He has detected me, it seems like. Oh, boy. Am I being... Am I breaching right now? Can he spy that ice? <laughs> oh, he flew right over me. That's fun. Uh, we should deal with him then. Uh, let me see if I can find these Mays. We're going to have to deal with these dudes. There's a May right there. Oh, they're all flying over me right now. Holy hell. They're just all flying over me. Man, they have found me. What about the other guy? <laughs> they don't seem to be flying over here. Where's our other May? We've got two Mays that we've seen. Helix. May. Where's the third one? Oh, they're both over in that direction, eh? Both over in that direction, I see. Uh, I, I forgot to save it when I got to a certain point. It's not too big a deal. You can get up through in this mission pretty quickly. Oh, hello, there's one right there. It seems like the other one's further off. Maybe the other one's uh, prosecuting the other sub. Alright, let's uh, lower this. And I guess let's get in a position to start shooting these guys down or something, man. I don't know. Uh, I can't let them just stay there. They're gonna get me out eventually, aren't they? Yeah, three normal commands. I think, was, I think when I did this in the last mission was for the range of the SAM. Let's get up to 53 feet and see if that's good Make enough. Depth, zero, five, three feet, Try and take these dudes out. I don't know why I was like bouncing off the frickin' surface earlier in that other mission. What do we got? There's a helix. He's flying around like a madman. That bear's not a problem. He seems pretty far off. There's another May up there. Yeah, they're changing bearing pretty quickly here. Alright, I need to shoot these guys down quickly because those Mays are like, oh, hell no, and they're going to be trying to depth charge my ass. We're running out of time here. We are running out of time. I do not have all the time in the world, unlike Vin Diesel in Tokyo Drift. I do not have all the time in the world. They are all over me like white on rice on a paper plate in a snowstorm. Man, I tell you. Let's see. Oh, that, was that two helixes I was seeing? No, that's our old friend, Mr. Helix. Bear. Yeah, they're flying around like crazy here. Still not shallow enough. Alright, the toad is pretty... Pretty well almost in here. Yeah, holy crap, that's a... Okay, well, the... This, okay, so apparently it doesn't do it if your sail is wet or not. It just does it based on a certain depth you can't get on the sail. So I don't even know if 53 feet is shallow enough here. Is it? Okay, there you go. Hey, uh, get out of here, water. Water! You're drunk, water. Go home, water. Where is he? Right there. Huh. Fire. <laughs> I think we're gonna get him. He, yep, there's the helix down. Son of a bitch. Pissing me off like no other. <laughs> That's just so goofy, man. It cracks me up. Oh, of course you're bouncing underneath the water again. Why is this happening? Oh, I'm really considering just surfacing right now. Just surfacing. I need to just deal with this. This guy's gotta go. Maybe I need a little more Make juice. Depth, zero, five, zero, feet, dive a little more juice on the, uh, the planes here. Here, get up there. Get up there. It's not letting me get up there. It is not letting me get up there. I don't know why it does this. I fire one missile and then I can't surface anymore. All right, let's uh, let's go back down and then try this again. Let's go shallow. Make my depth one. And let's try this again, because we got to take these guys out. I feel like he's about to drop a freaking death bomb on my ass any second now. Yeah, get up there. Maybe I should just surface real quick. I don't know. <laughs> Make my depth zero. I don't know if they have, like, missiles or something. Oh, some of a bitch. Oh, they dropped a tor torpedo this time. Fun. Okay, launch. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. I'll add flank. I'm already at the, I'm trying to get to the freaking F1 screen. It's like, I'm already at the F1 screen, man. Alright, get down there. 
Sick. Get the fuck down there, dude. Get down there. Reload these dudes. I think there's two torps up there. Seems like they might be pretty distant otherwise. There's a lot of torps up there. Wow. Three zero two. Ooh, that's a very different bearing. Yeah, they got. They don't like me shooting them down. I mean, what else am I supposed to do, man? They're just gonna hover over me the whole time. This is not a good place to end an episode. I do not want to end right here. Oh, get the hell out of there, dude! Get the hell out of there. All right, let's go to this way. Just try to get that countermeasure field in between me and them. But uh, before I have to. Uh, I want to make sure I can still hear these torps pinging, but I want to get in behind this countermeasure a little bit here. Why is this passive one reload so quickly? Is that like a glitch or something? This active one's... Why is that already reloaded? Did I not launch it? No, I launched it. There's two out there. I'm stuck on the surface. Steady on course. Two. Two. Okay, Nine. am I in a position to still hear these pings? Yes, I am. They seem to be pretty far off. They do seem to be pretty far off in terms of pings. The frequency it's telling me is not the right frequency. Is that the right frequency? It sounded like a torpedo frequency, right? Didn't it? That's interesting. I feel like they would have they dropped torpedoes. Unless there's a random surface ship up here. That's a torpedo ping. That does not sound like a ship ping. Even though there is a ship right here. So maybe, maybe he is pinging me and I'm picking up that kind of ping. Okay, that one is just called a new contact. Or maybe it's just like they're active sono buoying my ass. I don't know what those sound like. That's a that's a weapon ping right there. Right? Use and I reference, sensors, active frequency ranges, active sono buoy, yeah, that's a torpedo homing sonar. Ping right there. Oh wait, this is a very discomforting. <laughs> very discomforting to say the least. I don't have much of it. I can't do much right now except just like haul ass, tuck tail, and run. Okay, they're changing bearing. But they don't seem very close, so I don't know where they are, what they're actually doing. So Trying to look at the demon on them. Oh, the CR 16 just moved a lot there in a second. Ooh. 314. Did they get the buffalo? No. Zero seven zero. Oh, it looks like they just hit my countermeasure field. No. What did they hit then? Zero seven zero. Okay, maybe the, the Buffalo launched a countermeasure somehow. I mean, they don't have like sonar suite or anything, but I've heard that they still evade torpedoes. Okay, it didn't hit my countermeasure. It's still there. Let's go this way. Is this ready yet? No. Not hearing. It. Oh my god. Okay, which one of these is old? Are any of these old? Are they also actively pinging me? Get out of here. I just don't want to see these old ones that help me at they don't help me at all. Just scare me. Oh, someone sounds like he's pinging and homing. Steady on course. Two. Seven. Two. Oh, he's changing bearing pretty good. Oh, that's a different ping from the south here. What is that? Is that a torpedo too? Was there a TIW to that direction? I don't think so. Okay, there are a lot of torpedoes to the north. Three to the north. So what else is pinging up there then? I guess I wouldn't get TIWs at this speed, so yeah. They're probably dropping torpedoes all over the place. <laughs> I probably should have just surfaced to launch at those dudes. Is this ready yet? Yes, launch it is. Countermeasures. Aye, sir. Launch it sounds like these torpedoes aren't even like close by. They don't seem to be making any kind of progress on me right now. Oh, let's see, let me look at all these bad boys here. A new contact. <laughs> okay, it looks like they're dropping all kinds of torpedoes or something, man. I need it. 130. Nope, that's not that. What the he What is exploding? Are they dropping indiscriminate depth bombs? Here, let's slow down to two thirds for a second here. What is exploding around here? Is my active decoy? Yeah, I'm on the active decoy. Okay, yeah, they got... No, I'm still not picking up a torpedo to the south, so I don't know what this is. I guess this is just a ship pinging or something. 
Alright, I need to stop this. See you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.